Good day, friends. I've decided that I should start a how-to series about some of the things I'm doing. Um, so today I'm going to do a simple one, how to make a maze in Minecraft. Nothing very high-tech. Um, since I happen to start here, I'm going to show you what this is. It's a, a model of a carnival ride. Um, that uh, I used to see at fairs. It's a uh, you know very simple. You go round and round. Uh, then let's see if I remember how I set this up. And then the the operator, who is a DJ, would have you run backwards. Still at this regular slow speed. And then he'd run it and speed you up. It's going a little faster. But it's got more oomph. And then run you slower again. Then run you forward again. And then you're done. So, uh... If you're curious, I think that's relatively self-explanatory. What I want to do is set it up so it's automated instead of having a, an operator have to go through and click all those uh, in turn. Um, this is a, a counter system that I got from a YouTube video that I was thinking I'd do it. Like every time it goes around, we take off a counter and say on the third one we do the reverse. Uh, this is my carousel. Or at least the 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 model of it. Again, you can see it's very simple. Uh, you can uh, try to break, but... Yeah, they're moving too fast. Oops. Uh, turns out, when an animal is in a cart, the cart moves. So, uh, if you want to do an automated carousel, Get your automated, uh, your your rideable animals in. Uh, I have not found a way to keep them orderly. <laughs> they keep doing this stuff. They bounce together, and eventually they'll they'll start all going in the same direction. But that's not what we're here for. Uh, we're gonna start a maze. As I say, it's a fairly simple process. Uh, nothing high-tech, nothing... Uh, look, a temple. To start a maze, you should start with a grid. Now, there are other ways to make mazes. This is the simple way to design it, uh, and then you can make the maze itself as complex as you like. It is expandable. I'm going to do uh, a maze with a, a path one wide, uh, but you can make one with, with a larger path, you can make one where um, the path is a series of rooms, right? Uh, just expand it. You can also use this trick to do uh, mazes on paper, and that's where I first learned it. So you start by making a grid, um, and these will be the corners of your walls. Just a basic grid. The, uh, the maze I did on the Cube Realm uh, video I created this way. Uh, you do not have to do a square outline, but particularly in Minecraft, you're, you're not going to have a, a, an easy time of it if you don't have this kind of lineup. I think you could, in theory, do it diagonally. Um... But that would take some work. So, uh, this is the basic uh, layout. We're going to do a small one. You need to decide where the entrance is and where the solution is. In this case, we'll do an exit. Right? And what, depending on how simple or complicated you, you want to go, um, I would start by making the the solution path 
you don't need to do this. Uh, it depends on how well you gen you you are at uh, visualizing. Uh, and you want your solution path to have some unexpected turns. Uh, see, that's a long straight stretch. I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to add another row. A bit of a cold, or seasonal allergies, sorry. Um, most of the videos I've recorded this week I've been snuffly. Sorry about that. I don't really have a good filter for my mic to handle it. Alright. Um, as I say, it depends on how easy you want it to be. I mean, that's a very uh, convoluted path, and it will make my job a little harder setting up the uh, the maze, because all my branches can't interfere with that, unless I want more than one solution, which is okay. That may be an option as well. Uh, you are probably aware of the uh, maze following strat uh, the maze solution strategy, where you uh, follow the left wall or the right wall uh, all the way through, and you'll eventually get out. Uh, if you want to defeat that strategy, all you need is um, one of your paths to have a loop in it. Uh, so, uh, let's say we do... Well, maybe not that one, because that's such a small loop. Um, but uh, put a loop somewhere in the middle, and that will defeat that strategy. I mean, it's not too hard to get around, and if it's a small loop, you'll, you'll realize it quickly enough. Uh... Oh yeah, I did make it really difficult for myself. My uh, my solution path is is using up too much of the space. Um, so in this case, there's no room for me to have much in the way of dead ends and branches. Um, but if I went with this, something like that would do it, right? Uh, and so just, just fill in the walls where you want. Uh, keep an eye to uh, leaving your paths one wide. Make sure you uh, leave your, your solution intact. Uh, now this, this is a very simple solution. Right, the, the, the solution path is very long, but it's a very simple solution. Now we're going to do another one that... Um, might, might demonstrate some of the options better. All right, I've sent out a grid uh, for a new one. Uh, we're doing uh, three wide paths for this one, so it'll look a bit more spacious. Um, and actually, uh, depending on why you're building the maze, uh, this may work better for you. If you're doing um, a hedge maze outside of a fancy motel or hotel, so you're doing The Shining, uh, you may want to do this. And again, the outline does not have to be square. It can be all sorts of shapes. Um, it just probably should have every section wide enough so you can have more than one path go through it. All right. This time, we're going to uh, make the solution a room in the center. All right. So it'll be we'll block off the room. leave a gap here um, because that will be the the access that'll be the way in and the entrance will be oh let's say here all right now this time I'm not gonna draw the path in right away uh, like I did um, I didn't actually mention it but oh jeez didn't line that one up right. Um, once you got the grid down, you're going to want to um, fill in the... Man. <laughs> uh, fill in the, uh, the outer edge. 
if the solution is in the center, you may want to have an easy way out once you get in. Uh, whether it be uh, a ladder up and over, a tunnel out, or uh, leaving an exit path. may try the exit path route with this one. Uh, it is like another mandatory bit that you have to work around though, so it can make designing it a little harder. Uh, we're not going to go for an incredibly complicated one uh, here. Um, sort of like a puzzle. If you got very large pieces, you possibly making it for kids, right? Alright, so there's the outer edge. Uh, right, so the entrance is here. So we know we need... say all right you know I didn't fill that in either okay so I've set it up so we've got a branch right from the start all right um, so here we have a branch right from the start you can either go to the right and around the corner or to the left now I know I don't want a very long straight row to the left so we'll make a turn right there. This is in the way, so uh, coming up here, you've got um, either to close off one of these directions or have another fork. Uh, I think at this point I'll have another fork. Um, again, because I'm keeping long straight areas to a minimum. What are you doing here? Buzz off. Um, keeping long straight areas to a minimum. Uh, I'll I'll take a bend there, uh, and now I think what I'll do is uh, do that and this, All right? Uh, so this path to the left goes like that, and then that branch can go into that dead end or there. Now it's up to you if you want to uh, dress the maze so the, the dead ends have something interesting in them, or or hide things in the corners to encourage people to. Uh, go all the way through. Uh, okay, so I'm going to make the exit path. Now I'm going to change my mind. Uh, but what, what you could do if you're going to do an exit path is just do um, like that. And it does mean you have to design around it. So they can only enter from that way, but once they're in, they can go right outside. So they don't have to uh, backtrack through. Um, actually, let's do that. As I say, we're going to have a fairly simple maze, um, so that shouldn't be too hard to work around. So going to the left, we got this zigzag uh, and two dead ends. Uh, now uh, we've got going to the right or going to the right from there. Uh, I'm going to uh, have this go a little bit of a ways uh, there and that creates a short dead end for that route um, and we're gonna do that that again we don't want long straight areas um, of course that's a really obvious dead end you're gonna go through and you've got you can see that dead end from there so maybe I won't do that Maybe I won't do this. Okay, so that way, uh, this route, you go around this corner. Um, because the path is so wide, you can see the dead end a little sooner than, than you might uh, otherwise. But again, we're making this easy. Relatively. Uh, okay, so right now we've got it set up. This is the only open path. So we need to branch it pretty quick. This is a very long straight line here do about that? Uh, here's the thing we can do about that. Uh, so instead of going to the right, we go up here. We can do this. Uh, and then you've got your left branch, you've got your right branch. It's still a fairly long path, but uh, from within it, you see the dead end to the left, 
and go to the right. It's really a lot longer and straighter than I like having in one section. So I'm going to change once again. Alright. I'm going to leave that open for now. We're going to do some zigging and zagging. There. Uh, so now this, you got the little dead end, and you got this, you can't see around. Alright. So, uh, we've got this uh, zigzag. No branches in it, so it's not actually confusing. Uh, but because uh, the way it zigs and zags, you can't see uh, where it's going. Alright, so I'm going to put in a block here. So we've got a short end, dead end there, and then a dead end here that we will connect to later. Now, it is possible and okay to leave voids. Uh, if you want to have a section of the maze that the path just goes around and there's nothing in it, perfectly fine. Uh, I try to fill out the entire um, the entire uh, maze, but you could have like the path just you know just not use this block, or um, you know have have something in there gonna make sure they know when when they reach the center but you can you can uh, uh, you can have details uh, throughout okay so right now our only path is still here we've got to fork it right away so I'm gonna do the uh, all right, we're gonna continue the zigzag uh, we've got then going to the right and going straight ahead uh, Okay, we can't get to the entrance yet. Um, so I can go to the right this way. Uh, I'll go straight ahead, uh, and then we're going to go uh, leftish, right? So again, we don't want access to the uh, to the solution yet. Uh, if you go to the right, let's do this. Actually, no. Uh, let's see, go to the right or straight ahead. Let's do this. Um, so you've just got like a central pillar here. You can do that. It's uh, probably pretty easy to see around that, so people aren't going to be all that inclined to walk around. Um, well, and actually, I don't want to do that. that. That space is too open for me. So I'm going to do this. There. That at least has one turnabout. And we don't want to uh, connect to the uh, solution line. Uh, so we're going to do that. Um, what if... that corner was going to get trapped in. You can come here, you can go straight ahead or to the right, and here you can go straight ahead or to the right. Um, since we don't want to go to the solution quite yet, we'll do this. Uh, we'll have our branch, a branch here. Um, so here you'll go to the right. We do not want this... Okay, we're going to change our mind. We don't want that long straight, straight away. Um, I thought maybe it was dim because it was a rainstorm, even though I'm in the desert and it's not raining. Uh, see, it gets a little harder as you get toward the end. Um, honestly, the solution line is long enough. I could just let it go in, as long as I've got some enticing branches on the way. So we could do this. So here, you've got to decide between going to the right, which dead ends you. From above, it's obvious that's a dead end. Um, from the inside, not so obvious. Some people have a, a good enough sense of direction, they'll know that they've reached a corner. Um, okay, so now... We've got only our solution path. 
only our solution path. Uh, so let's give it at least one more uh, branch. You're going to come down here, you go straight ahead or to the right. If you go to the right, we're going to need that. Um, let's do this. Uh, no, actually, I don't like that. Are they the same? If we do this instead, that's uh, more of a straightaway than I like. So, what if we do this instead? Uh, so, we have not branched it. This is just a zig and zag of the solution path. Um, and now we'll branch. not very difficult, but I can see like this, um, and it's actually technically two routes because you can go either way around that one, so you can zog it in, and then out. And then it's up to you how you want to decorate it, obviously. Um, if it's going to be used uh, at night time, you may want to uh, incorporate lights. Rather annoyingly, I discovered that I had uh, accidentally toggled the record button the wrong way, so when I went to uh, to look at the video I had, I had an hour and a half of me doing tedious work and not talking, and all the talking uh, and showing I had intended uh, had not been recorded. So, um, well, all that's left is I, I decorated the thing. Um, I tried to see if a zombie's AI could find its way to the middle, and it it did okay. Um, but I did want to show you that the experience of the maze is quite different when you're in it. Uh, and you can decorate it in ways that make it intimidating or, uh, or imposing. Uh, and I did want to um, show you a thing I, I did... Um, just sort of as an example, I, I mentioned you can do this as a series of rooms. Very easy. Just uh, you've got the uh, the corners. Here we go, a three by three room. Uh, and if you want to make your points farther across, or if you want to combine uh, two or or more of the, the square spaces, go for it. I've already been here. Let's see, I recorded. I made this yesterday. Let's see if I can remember the path. Yeah. But e even going directly, it's a, a way different experience than um, looking at it from above. Ta-da! Here we are. Got a prize, raw pork chop, and a golden chest plate. And an exit only departure. So that's it. Uh, how to build a maze in Minecraft. Uh, you can use the same process on paper or any other uh, building setup. Um, and also a brief visit with some of the carnival rides I've been working on. Uh, hope to see you next time. If there's any particular thing you'd like to see me try to do uh, a how-to on, let me know. And good night.